I had the opportunity, and this was a, a major, there were two major things that were huge for me, aside from what I do now and I've told you. One was I had an opportunity when I was about, right before the summer before I turned 16 years old, to work in our father's business. Now, we were not, it was not happening off of the kitchen table or the dining room table anymore. We'd moved to a side, literally almost a broom, broom closet, of another friend of his. So we still didn't have an office space that we could bring people to, but we could drive our cars to it and it would look cool, you know? So he says, you know, you know, there was no money to let me do minimum wage. There was no money to pay me to take out the trash. So he created a job. My father just had a sales back and he created a job and he said, Josh, you're going to get in what they call the reverse directory. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that, but you got numbers and you cross-reference it. And he said, I'm going to write a script for you. Now, you got to remember, I'm 15 years old. And, you know, isn't it amazing when you, like, are just excited about doing something that, I mean, somebody could say, I'm going to give you, you know, I can give you anything. I want you to go door to door and sell it. And if you think it's, you're excited about it, you're just going to do it because you know it's supposed to be hard. So I've got a reverse index. I've got a script. And he tells me, I want you to call these people, and you'll set appointments, and then you'll earn commission based on when we close them. Fortunately, my father, you know, he didn't have the, the, the decks weren't completely stacked against me because my father was a brilliant salesperson and we had a brilliant product. That was the key. So the sales did happen. But that was my first job. I didn't know it was supposed to be hard, so I bought into it hook, line, sinker, and I got no, 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 but yes. And I got so excited, and that was the one thing that moved me forward. And, and from that, I started getting excited about, you know, I, I would... They'd pick up an entrepreneur magazine or whatever, and just all kinds of cool stuff. And that was a huge thing that, that got me, it was just a real big moment in my life. But from that, I, a person that was a mentor of mine who, who since has passed said to me, a loan officer, and he said, Josh, he said, you, and, and this is huge, so please get this. He told me, he said, Josh, you can get good over time at this thing called sales. And guess what? If you stick with it long enough, you'll pick some stuff up and, and you might get good. Or you can be proactive. And you can pick up a book, you can pick up a tape, you can pick up a program like all these incredible speakers have offered. You can pick them up and you can live on purpose. Okay, because one way or another, your time's gonna be, it's gonna pass. It's gonna happen. So, I, do, I got that. I went to the Sam's and bought a book by Zig Ziglar called Over the Top. It's actually kind of a prequel to, to See You at the Top. At the time, I was 15 years old, 35 now. I bought into this thing called personal development. And at a young age, I got good at telephone sales. I got good at communication. Now, I couldn't meet face-to-face -face because there's some things you are insurmountable at that point. But I was going to get older and that would be taken care of. So, or when you hear the rest of the story, so I thought. So went on for several years, really thought that a lot of my, my situation, I was ahead of a lot of people in my peer group, certainly, thought I had a lot of my path figured out. But around 18 years old, the idea came out that I was going to have the opportunity to step it up a little bit and do, and do in-person meetings and this kind of thing, maybe get to a point where I was groomed for the business, what have you. And I remember it like it was yesterday, 18 years old, pick up, go to make a phone call like, it, like I'd done plenty of times. I was good at this stuff. Go to do it. And I couldn't spit out a word I wanted to say. And I can't even stress to you enough. And since then, I've, I've put a name on that thing, and I call it a blocking tick. And it was literally, it's like a stutter, I'm not diminishing stutter, but it's a stutter times like 20 or 30. And if you ever are you know, fortunate or unfortunate enough to hear some old, te you know, teleseminars and what have you, people that have known me a long time, they'll tell you, I couldn't spit out a word I wanted to say. And guess what happened to me in that moment? Everything that I thought I was good at, everything I thought I knew, everything I thought I'd accomplished, whoop, was gone. Or so I thought. And as a result, I dealt with a lot of anxiety. It was like, Josh, you've got to get another plan. Because what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? What are you going to do? Now, the interesting dynamic of that was 
I was limited in a lot of ways. I will confess that I allowed myself to be limited all those ways. But guess what? I don't care. I was 18 years old, and that was okay. Because I found out later I had this thing called personal development on my side. So even during these hard times, extremely hard times, I was still learning ideas. And I was still trying to do the best I could do. And since I was still moving in action, the idea that I showed you guys up there came up. 